Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at why your pivot table is counting your values instead of summing them. Now, your pivot table will always default to summing numeric values in your pivot table. The only reason to count them is when it believes they are text. And we're going to look at the two key reasons why it may think that. Now, first of all, what I think is the, the main reason are blank cells. And I've got two examples of what I mean here. In this first example, I've got what for us is quite a clear blank cell in the totals value common. Bear in mind that your table may be very large and that blank cell could be anywhere. And let me just demonstrate first of all, I'll click anywhere in this table. I'll insert a pivot table. I'm going to try and keep this a bit brief because I want to focus on the reasons why. And as I build up this pivot table quickly, country and total sales value, we notice it immediately comes into the rows area. And if I was to drag it into values, it is counting those values. And that is because of that blank cell. So total sales value, that blank cell is in there. Then it thinks it's text and it's chosen to count them rather than sum them. Now, if I change the calculation to a sum, it will work just fine. It's just the default behavior that is different. And that's why it's defaulting to that. Now, let me show you another example, another very typical thing. Is that people will highlight the entire columns along the top. So if I highlight maybe A across to K there, it's the entire columns. Now, that will mean that I've grabbed all these blank cells as well. If I select all the columns, I've grabbed all these too, which is all, you know, there are some advantages maybe to doing that, but it's all a little bit unnecessary. And this will mean that when I create a pivot table, and I look at building this up, and let me choose a different column this time to show it's nothing to do with that blank that I've input in the range. Let me choose unit price. Notice it treats it as text, it throws into rows, I chuck in values, still reacting as text, and I would have to change the calculation myself each time, which can be done, you know, but we're looking at the, why the default reaction is to count them. Now, the other reason this may be happening, so I think blank cells is definitely the most common scenario. It's probably one of those two I just mentioned, which is the reason behind yours. The other one is that somebody has accidentally actually typed text. So what I've done here in the cell, the same cell actually, I've pretended to type 950 pounds, but I've typed an O and not a zero. And you know, they're right next to each other on the keyboard. So it's a very easy thing to do. I see people do it in my classes at times. And you know, it's quite recognizable on the spreadsheet to be fair. But you know, these things slip by, they're honest mistakes, and that will have its effect. So if I go to create my pivot table, again here, I'm going to choose the same stuff, you know, just put country in, it's obviously a text field, total sales value, and it's reacting as text. So those are the main reasons. It's going to be a, a mistype in some way, and a text character has creeped in there, or it is a blank cell. And I, I personally believe the most common situation of all is people highlighting the entire columns here very common thing to people to do when when you're writing formulas and you can get away with that to a degree pivot tables will not appreciate it as much and um, and same goes for some other excel features i hope you found this video tutorial useful please check out some of our other videos on our youtube channel check us out at computergargar.com